And Lauren, this morning, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick announced that Ken Paxton won't be compelled to testify during this trial, but he still has the option to do so if he chooses. Now, the first order of business was swearing in the 30 senators who are serving as jurors. They will decide whether Paxton will remain in office or be permanently removed. Attorney General Paxton was in the Senate chamber this morning. Back in May, the Republican-led Texas House voted overwhelmingly to impeach him. He's seen here flanked by his two attorneys, Rusty Hardin and Dick DeGuerin, both well-known in Texas, having been in many high-profile cases. Paxton is facing numerous allegations of corruption, abuse of power, and misconduct involving a marital affair. This morning, Lieutenant Governor Patrick read the pretrial motions to senators, and the lawmakers were asked to vote on each one. Submitted by the respondent, Attorney General Paxson, the motion is entitled Motion to Dismiss Articles of Impeachment 1 through 7 and 9 through 20. A yea voted to grant the motion, a nay vote is to deny the motion. This went on for a few hours. Patrick is serving as the judge in the proceedings by profession. Patrick is neither an attorney nor a judge. Earlier this morning on Good Day, we heard from the former U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Texas, Paul Coggins. Coggins talked about the lieutenant governor's role in the trial. It's a little bit outside of his bailiwick, but he does have an experienced judge who will be assisting him in this. I think what you'd expect to see is fireworks. Uh, given the attorneys lined up on both sides of this uh, equation, you know, they're highly experienced attorneys. They're, they're very aggressive attorneys. Now, that judge assisting Dan Patrick is retired state appeals court judge Lana Myers, who was seated next to the lieutenant governor this morning. Uh, this afternoon, we will hear opening statements from attorneys on both sides. That'll be followed by the presentation of evidence and witness testimony. Not yet clear how long the trial will go on, likely for several weeks. Paxton would be removed from office if 21 of the 30 senators eligible to vote decide in favor of any of the articles of impeachment against him. He has denied all allegations of wrongdoing. His attorneys have called the impeachment process a sham and a political witch hunt. Now, a rule was established for Senator Angela Paxton, who is married to the suspended attorney general. Angela Paxton is allowed to be seated on the Senate floor, but she can't vote on anything during the trial. Lauren, back to you.